There's something serious now to do. Yes. Yeah. Miss Tina Turner. Tina Turner, uh, this was in her 40s. It was, uh, she was in her 40s. It was uh, 1985, and she was doing her big comeback. Now imagine mm -hmm. this, a black rock and roll female star who's going to start over with a solo career. And she also wanted to do some acting. Yeah. So it was 1985, and I got to talk to her. Wonderful. No, uh, nothing, nothing diva about her. She was great. So here's a little mm -hmm. bit of my interview. Uh, Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome was the movie, and here is Miss Tina Turner. I love her. How do you keep your legs in shape? Is it genetics or do you work to keep them in shape? This is what I've been telling all of the girls. you got to go to work for 24 years doing everything that I've been doing and you'll have them. <laughs> this is, you know, I used to call my legs little pony legs. You know, they always look like the little ponies when they're little babies. and They've always been like this. I don't know. I'm, I'm glad they stayed, but I don't know. This is just it. Do you realize that you are a strong role model for many women? And do you like that responsibility? Now I'm going to tell you how I handle that, and I'm going to tell all of our viewers, I'm just me. Mm -hmm. And if someone wants to take on to the life that I have lived and use it to help themselves, wonderful. But I cannot see anyone relating to my life, I mean, because it was like, it's, it's a really struggle. But if I can inspire them to that, in spite of their difficulties to keep going, wonderful. But I don't take that title to feel that that's something I have to live up to. If I weaken and fall, I fall. I'm not going to go, oh, I can't fall. My people will be, you know, disappointed. No, I'm just living my life. I'm just very simple like that. Oh, I just, I just I love that. I love know, seeing I you know. back in the day, too. I know. Oh, boy. <laughs> What is, what is 38 that like? years ago, well, I wanted to be professional, so I pulled the hair back. Pulled, the only time you ever see me without bangs. Was yeah. <laughs> what is but, that like, though, watching uh, clips back, you know, like that, watching her and remembering? I realize how lucky then. I am. Yeah. Uh, uh, how hard I worked. Uh, but then you see someone like her who, look what she went through. Yeah. And she remained, she remained focused and smiling and moving those legs. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I, I think it's a good role model for all people who want to look forward. Don't just look at the things in your life that are wrong. Hope to change them. Yeah. Make some effort to do that and look forward. And that's what yeah. she did. 83 years old. She just passed on old. Wednesday. Certainly a shining star for sure. What's love got to do? Got to do with it. So you can sing. I can hear. What's love? <laughs> you want to sing? Keep singing. I think we can only sing like it's, for a little bit. Okay. That's great. Now if you can dance like that, have have a fireman Tim teach you how to dance. Like <laughs> All right, Randy Ellis. I don't know. What do you think? Do you have any moves like that? Like What's heard? love got to do with it? Do <laughs> with it. What's love? She will be. I mean, she is an icon, a legend, you name it. And she will be missed. She really will. So hey, we're coming back here in the kitchen with registered dietitian and nutritionist Anessa Chumley, and I think we're doing some baked beans. Oh, we're doing Mama's baked beans, and they are all the things for Memorial Day and Race Weekend. Even some bacon in there, too. Uh -huh. I like that. So stay with us.